Yo, I cannot. This hair. We're just gonna have to take it like that. What's up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Nikki or welcome if you're new if you've never been here before so I have been doing some stuff around the house the last thing that I think y'all seen me do was my patio but before I did my patio I painted my china cabinet downstairs so while I was in the dining room painting the china cabinet in my head I redecorated the entire room so now what I have been trying to do is pull the vision out of my head and bring it to life in the actual room. I just did a flat coffered ceiling so I'm going to show you guys the whole process of me doing that today. I got new lighting installed down there which is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love, 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 love. I love it. It is so bright which is what I want. I do not like a dark and dingy looking house. I want it everything to be nice and bright which i got that with the dining room so i'm going to go ahead and show you that process and i will probably break this down into a series maybe three or four videos because there is a lot that i want to do in that room and i don't want to put it all into one super long video so i'll break it down into smaller shorter videos for you guys but come on let's go ahead i'm going to show you guys what i did and i've changed the room i'm going to start from the ceiling and work my way down to the floors um so this video will just be me showing you how i did the coffer ceiling and what that's all about so come on y'all let's go ahead and take a look at what i did if you have not subscribed to this channel please do not forget to do that it helps my channel out tremendously y'all give me a comment i love talking to y'all but y'all don't want to talk to me sometimes so give me a comment down below and a like and i will see you guys in the next one all right guys so as usual we're going to start out with getting this space clean i do have the electrician coming out the next day so I need to get everything cleaned up. I need to get the flat coffered ceilings up. And then I also need to move the furniture out. So here I'm just getting everything cleaned. really sure if this rug will be staying in this space or not um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it all clean and then I'll roll it up and put it off to the side until I decide if this rug will be permanently staying here or if I find something else that I like better with the new space
So now that I have all of the furniture moved out of the way with the exception of the china cabinet, I worked really hard on that china cabinet. It is very heavy and I was not trying to move it again. Um, so I did just leave it there and I worked around it. But what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring out the boxes that I want to have on my ceiling and just marking it off just so that I will have a base for where I want my actual boards to go for the ceiling. All in all, I did end up with nine boxes to create this look on my ceiling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach the boards to the ceiling. I am using two and a half inch MDF boards that I did get from the Home Depot. They did cut them to size for me inside the Home Depot as well. And as y'all can see, your girl has upgraded. You know I was doing it before with just the nail and the hammer, but now I didn't upgrade. I went and I brought me an air compressor. It came with um, an 18 gauge and a 16 gauge and also a pin nailer as well. So I am very, very excited. This is my first time actually using it. So I was excited here, y'all. So after I got over the initial kickback of that air that comes out of these things, I was on a roll. It's a little loud, but after that, once I got used to it, I was going. I was able to get all nine of my boxes on the ceiling before the electrician came. Um, so you will see in just a moment right here that I do have the recessed lighting and the new chandelier up. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and measure for my molding pieces to finish off my boxes. I am going to cut the molding at 45 degree angles so that we can go ahead and attach them to the inside of the boxes that we've created inside the dining room. Now that I have all of my pieces cut, I'm just fitting them just to make sure that they actually do fit according to the measurements that I took. I'm using the painter's tape just to hold them in place um, to make sure that I do have them at the correct angle before I actually do go ahead and nail them in. I only did that with this one box, but then after I did this box, I got the hang of where I needed them to be. So I was go-go gadget after that with me and my little nail gun.
these little spaces right here, these cutouts are where the electrician actually had to go in and cut out some of my drywall to run the wiring for the recessed lighting. So I'm just going ahead and patching those up so that I can sand them down and paint them. And this is where we're at now. I've gone ahead and patched up all the nail holes. Everything still needs to be sanded, so I will go ahead and do that off camera. I tried to do it on camera, but the dust was just covering my lens, so I did that off camera. And now what you see me doing here is I'm just going in and caulking everything just to give it that seamless finish that we all want. I will also say if you are thinking about doing this project, this is a project that you can either do alone or you can get someone to help you. Um, of course, if you're getting someone to help you, they'll just stand on the opposite side and hold the board up for you while you nail it. Or you can also create what's called a dead man, I believe, out of just pieces of board where the board will just basically hold one end, the opposite end up to the ceiling for you while you were nailing the other side. Here's how it's looking once I did go in and sand everything. This is after the second sanding. I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep everything up so that we can continue on. I did go in off camera and vacuum up the rest of the dust that was left over and then I also mopped afterwards. To the caulking just finishing up i think this was the longest part for me was caulking everything and making sure that all of these holes were filled caulked I am going in and just prepping for paint. I will be using the same paint that I've been using throughout the rest of the house which is New House White by Bayer.
It is very hard to see the paint color on camera. It looks like I'm just painting a white ceiling white, which I am, but it's not the same as shade of white. Um, so it's coming off a little pink to me, the areas that I painted on camera, um, like a really light pink. But in person, it is definitely white. You can kind of see the difference a little bit here from that one box that I painted versus the rest of it. you can see again where the area that I did paint it's coming off while the paint is wet as a little bit pinkish as opposed to the part that I didn't paint but I promise you in person it is definitely white And I did want to take my time to make sure that I did nice even strokes because I didn't want it to be if you're sitting down at the table and you happen to look up it looks really sloppy up there or you can see just a bunch of random messy paint strokes so I did want to take my time to make sure that I actually did paint it in nice even strokes. So now that everything is painted, we're going to go ahead and take all of the tape off of the lights and I will show you the final reveal of the room so far. This is where we're at with the dining room so far. I'm loving the chandelier. I love the recessed lighting. I love the ceiling. Everything just looks so beautiful to me. Alrighty, 
you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out here um, the next video that you do see of the dining room we will be tackling the walls and the flooring so if you are interested in that please do not forget to subscribe and check back turn on those notifications so you will be notified every time that I post a video I want to thank you all so much for supporting me and watching another video and I will see you in the next one bye